recently you had Joe Budden on the show. And at one point, things went kind of left. Joe, you got the album coming out, correct? Huh? I'm asking you a question. What I'm the almost, fuck is wrong I'm with you? Be fun with, this is like, what do you be funny about? I just like watch you for like a day. Wow. I just asked you a question and you fucking talking. What are you talking about, my nigga? You're pretty interesting. Yo, what's wrong with this dude, son? Because I think you're interesting. I'm just saying, I think you're interesting. Yo, what is wrong with this dude, son? Yo! <laughs> Why are you screaming in the mic? Because I asked you a fucking question, my nigga. What are you talking about, son? What's I wrong with this frustrated. dude? No, no. I... No, what? What is he talking about? Are you going to continue to scream in this I'm place? asking you a question. What is wrong with you, son? Are you going to continue to scream in this I'm place? asking you a question. What is wrong with you, son? Okay, we should end this. No, Joe, what projects do you have going on right now? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, son? We should end this, though. Nah, you ready? Son. This nigga's crazy, yeah. so let's end this shit. You, uh, you good? I'm asking this nigga right. a fucking question. All right, that was tax playing, season. Stop playing that, that fucking that therapist Chicago. shit with me, son. Like, Thank don't do that with me, son. Thank you for having me, son. tax. I appreciate this you. This nigga's a son. We should end this. Come on. Thank you so much. What the fuck, son? What type of shit is this, son? What type of shit? Thank you for inviting me What is wrong with this dude? I tax. Oh, I'm confused. I appreciate the opportunity. I'm confused. Like, son, come on, son. I can't believe y'all don't know each other. What is wrong with this retarded? This nigga's retarded. So explain to me what led up to you booking Joe Budden and what exactly happened in that whole situation from your point of view. Well, Joe, you know, me and Joe followed each other on Twitter. So like we always like joke with each other. Like I appreciate his humor. So, you know, we got like mutual friends. So I told him, I'm like, I want Joe Button on the show. So I told him to tell him. And like they didn't tell him like they like like I guess people felt like we had beef or some shit because we both got podcasts. So I hit him myself and I was like, yo, come up to my show. So he was like, I right, when? I gave him the date and he came through. And you know, everything was cool, like before the interview and then we started the interview and I felt like, you know, he didn't want to answer certain questions. And like he answered questions on the breakfast club differently than he answered them when he came on my show. So I asked him, did he sit on, on Esther Baxter's chest or some shit like that? And I asked him a series of questions, he said no, but I just seen him on another interview and he said yes. So I was confused, so I asked him the question in three different ways, you know what I mean? And the third time he answered it differently. You know, you know that's how the police catch you in lies, you know what I mean? So that's like when it got heated, because I was like, yo man, this dude is just playing, like you don't want to give me an interview, you know what I mean? So why you here? So that was like basically what it was, and then he said some shit like, I said something about jail, and he was like, oh, I'm not really into that. And oh, here he goes with the block talk, with the jail talk. And I'm like, yo, you acting like you some square dude that never been to jail. Like you a dope fiend to get locked up every week and, and you beat bitches up, you know what I mean? You don't act like you don't know what jail is, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so, so then what happened after that? Well, nothing, he just, you know, we were sitting in and like, you know, the energy just started getting thick between us and then I was getting aggravated. He was getting, he was like, oh, I think we should leave. And I was like, yeah, I think you should leave. So I was like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? He left. That was it. I never spoke to him again. I don't ever want to speak to him again. I don't even want to know nobody. Like, I don't want to know nobody that's like Joe Button. Okay, so there's no chance of y'all actually sitting down and working this out. Nah, it's nothing to work out. I don't have no beef with him or nothing. Like, we ain't got to talk. But I want to see him in person, you know what I mean? Because he said something to me that was like a little... And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if you know who you be talking to, you know what I mean? And that's exactly what I was telling him in the interview. Like, yo, I'm not, I'm not these girls that you be dealing with from these third world countries that don't got that much education. And because you could read a little bit and you might be a little bit smarter than them, you think you could gaffle them all day. You cannot do that with everybody, you know what I mean? So he tries to use his like his vocabulary to make it seem like he's smart. You a fucking rapper. You should know words, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> gotcha. Well, you know, Joe Budden is not a, a big fan of Vlad TV as well, so. Well, he's not? You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not completely surprised. <laughs> um, yeah, Vlad TV has a lot of beef out here, man. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we don't pull punches. You know, when it comes to, when it comes to reporting on the news and when it comes to, to doing these interviews, uh, we're here for the viewers. We're, we're not here to, to try to get invited to listening parties and, and yeah, all that type of stuff. me too. I feel the like, same way. I don't really care about being friends with rappers. Like, I'm not a girl or, or somebody that's looking for help. 
Well, we're, you know, when, when a rapper comes, when a rapper or a singer or an internet celebrity or whoever, or an actor, or whoever comes with Vlad TV, like they're going to get some real questions. And some people could deal with that. Some people can't. And some people choose not to come to Vlad TV. Um, but at the end of the day, we're going to ask real questions. And I, you know, this is why, for example, I get along with Charlemagne so well because he has the same type of mentality. He doesn't pull his punches. He doesn't do fluffy type interviews and we're on the same page. And what that means is that sometimes people try to blacklist us or say how they're going to end, end our business or end our career or whatever else. And we're, we're almost 10 years strong, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> and we're going to continue to get great interviews. And some people are going to get mad. Some people aren't mad. And even the people that are mad could actually come back to Vlad TV to let us know why they're mad. And we'll give them a platform for it. That's how I look at it. <laughs> come up to Vlad TV and talk about why you're mad, beloved. I feel the yeah. same way. I don't, I don't really care who don't like me. Doesn't move me. I'm going to ask you whatever I want to ask you. You know what I mean? Because if we're going to... Real questions are real questions. People don't want the questions to be real because the instances are real and they don't want them to be out there. Like... You just got to accept your flaws and accept whatever happens. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. I mean, honestly, and I have absolutely no issues with Joe Budden because I'm actually have a great relationship with the rest of Slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Crooked Eye are actually friends. Like we actually call each other up just to check in and, and just chop it up. We've, mm -hmm. you know, gone to the strip club together. Uh, me and Royce the Five Nine have been super cool since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Uh I've interviewed Joel Ortiz a bunch of times, and you know I'm sure Joe Bunn is going to be listening to this right now. And Joe, you're welcome to come to Vlad TV to to say whatever you want to say. It's really if there's any problems, it's very one sided. It's completely. He's not even going to come up here and talk. He's not going to answer any questions. He's just going to nod off like a dope fiend does. So he actually got up and walked out of the interview. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you before? No. No, you know, I, when I first started doing the podcast, I was like, yo, you know, I, um, I know it probably would be really dope if I kicked somebody out, you know, in the middle of an interview. And, you know, I, I didn't know it was going to be him. And it just happened to be him. He was crazy. I think a lot of people put bad energy on the interview because a lot of people around us was like, yo, don't fight Joe. Like, and I'm like, why would I fight Joe? You know what I mean? And it was like the interview ended up going bad. It is what it is. I'm not the back down type though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I started talking this shit. I was on an aisle hook. He like, yo, you disrespecting Fetty? I'm like, so? One of them niggas smack, you know what I mean? One of them niggas smack me with the gun from the back. The challenges we faced from Houston, from Texas is in, in hip hop, man, Man, I ain't even worry about Slim Jesus, Iggy, Zay, or nothing. Man, I ain't worry about none of that, man. We got our own world going on of things that's way more crucial to us and to our Texas hip-hop culture 